Yo, how's it going everybody? So today's video is actually going to be an update to a video that I made about two years ago where I showed you how to make a chart using Chart.js in React Hooks. And since then, there's been a lot of updates to the actual package and that previous video no longer applies anymore. So in today's video, this is what we're going to be making. We're going to be making a simple bar chart using React Chart.js version 4. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I've created a brand new React app straight out of the box. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is we need to install all of our dependencies. So to do that, all I'm going to do is npm i react dash chart js dash two. And that's all we need to install. Next, while this is installing, let's go ahead and import all the stuff that we need. So I'll do import curly braces chart as chart js comma category scale linear scale so these three things are a must and the next thing is going to be what kind of chart we're actually going to be rendering and in our case we're going to be doing a bar chart so i'll do bar element comma title tool tip and legend uh, these three last things are optional but i'm going to keep them there because it's in my opinion, this is pretty mandatory that you would have a title, a tooltip, and a legend for your chart. And next thing is going to be from chart.js. Cool. So now I'm going to import bar from react chartjs 2 since that's the one that we're going to be building, is a bar chart. And I'll do import react and use state and use effect from react since it's not already imported there perfect all right so the next thing that i'm going to show you is actually the newest thing that they've implemented in react chart.js version 4 and that's to register all of the stuff that you've imported here for your plugins and previously you didn't actually have to do this and i wish that you didn't have to do this because then my previous tutorial would still work but it is what it is so Inside of here, all we have to do is we just need to import all of these things. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and I'll just paste it inside here like so. And that's it. So now we've registered all of our items that we need. And now we can just make the chart as is using React hooks. All right. So to do that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating two use state variables. One is going to be responsible for our options. The other one is going to be responsible for our data. So we'll do const chart data and set chart data is equal to use state. We're going to make an object. Inside of the object, we're going to do data sets, add an empty array block. And the next use state variable we're going to do is const chart options and set chart options and equals use state as an empty object like so. I forgot to say this earlier, but in the description below, I've added a link to all the integrations that you can add and register for your app. So you don't get lost like me, where if you need to find a bubble chart, you can easily figure out which one of these you need and you just add it to your actual app itself. Awesome. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to create a use effect where we're going to create all of our data points that we need. So I'll do use effect. so you know that empty array right there and I'll do set chart data and I'll do labels so for this chart I've decided to figure out who let the dogs out from that classic 2004 song and my, my hypothesis is that is either John Kevin George Michael or Oreo. I don't know who that is, but I think he's probably the one that let him out. All right, and for our data sets, array block, object, and inside of the object, I'll give it a label of whomst, oops, let the dogs out, data. So, I took a consensus and of all of the 700 or about like 850 people that voted, 
12 voted for John, 55 voted for Michael, sorry, Kevin, 34 for Michael, 120, well, I'm all over the place, 12 for John, 55 for Kevin, 34 for jo George, 120 for Michael, and a staggering 720 for Oreo. And we, we, all, we all know that he let the dogs out, of course. And the border color that we're going to allow will be a simple RGB. It'll be like a bluish color. So RGB 53, 162, 235, like so. And the background color We'll do RGBA, 53, 162, 0 0.4. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and actually add our chart options. So what will be displayed for our legend, our title, that type of stuff. So I'll do set chart options as an empty array, sorry, as an empty object. And inside of the object, we'll do responsive, To be true, plugins, we'll do legend, and for our legend, we'll just do, we'll put it at the top, position top, like so, and for our title, we want to display it, so I'll do display is equal to true. And our title will just be a text saying whomst let the dogs out. Perfect. So now all we have to do is we just got to implement this chart into our app. So I'm going to get rid of all this content and I'll just do bar with a self closing brace. And inside of there, I'll do options is equal to chart options. And for the data, it'll just be equal to chart data whoops chart data like so and I'm gonna go ahead and run our app and let's see this chart rendered all right now we can clearly see that our chart is working and we can even more importantly clearly see that whomst let the dogs out is a 100% Oreo shame on him anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it helped you out and if it did be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you.